Hi, and welcome to our Qubit how-to video series. Today we'll be taking a look at how to take off an internal wall frame and calculate the correct quantity of timber required. Let's get started. As you can see here, I've already taken off a plan. All of the internal and external walls have been accounted for, and I've also counted all of the intersections. To make it a bit easier to see, I'm just going to turn the plan off so that we're left only with the takeoff on screen. These are all of our walls. Our doors and windows have also been placed in. And our count here are for where we might have intersections or the ends of walls. As you can see from the estimate panel, there's a lot going on. I've color coded a number of items with the new flags feature just to help with visibility in this demonstration. Let's step through it line by line. As you can see, we're taking off our internal wall frames at 3100 millimeters. On our top plate line here, we've taken off all of our walls, as you can see, highlighted in green, received a quantity of 137.44 lineal meters, and I've factored it up by two so that our aggregate quantity reflects the correct lineal meterage of top plate required for this job at 274.87 meters. Our bottom plate is slightly different as we're using the length less openings result time. And this is calculated the same length as our top plate, less our doors which are obviously intersecting that line. This is a function that you could turn on and off as you need to, if you'd rather just have it as a straight length count for purchasing and cutting on site. As you can see, for our bottom plate, we don't need a factor of two, and thus we're left with the aggregate quantity of 137.44 meters, the same as our standard quantity. To calculate our studs, once again, we take the length and we apply a factor, in this case, of 6.89. And this is derived with the following formula. Open brackets, for every 1 metre, we want to divide by our centre length of 0 0.45. That will tell us how many studs are in that length, times in the entire quantity by 3.1, which is the height of the wall. In total, we will require just under a thousand lineal meters worth of timber for our studs. Our noggins, we've just taken the straight length and we haven't applied a factor here at all. We then come to this purple line here, intersection additional studs. I've used the count tool and gone around the plan and everywhere that there is an intersection, I have placed a count. If we zoom in just a little bit, it becomes a little bit more apparent. In total, we have 45 points of intersection or ending walls. And having a bit of a look here, we might need to double up a couple of these at our three-way intersections to ensure that that proper count is calibrated. We can do that now. After placing the correct amount of additional studs, you can see that we've ended up with a count of 74. We then need to multiply that by the length or height of our studs, which is 3.1 metres. We end up with a total of 229.4 lineal metres worth of timber for those additional studs. Moving into our third section of this wall here, we have our secondary jam studs, our door headers, window lintels and our sill trimmers. And we can calculate those as well. 
as you can see I've also taken off my doors and all my windows in this job and we're using those figures to help calculate the amount of timber we need up in our carpentry figure my total of 14 is found by combining all of our doors together so we have 14 doors in total each of them will require a secondary jam stud on both sides and we can do that either here in the quantity or in the factor column and what I've done here in the factor column is I've taken a multiple of 2 and times it by the height of our wall to end up with a factor of 6.2 so for 14 doors we will need 86.8 lineal meters worth of secondary jam studs. We can also calculate our door headers using a formula. As you see here, we've ended up with a result of 16.46. Well, let's build that formula together to see the working. If we say at our door dot width, it will return to us the total width of all of our doors in millimetres, 15,060. So let's divide that by 1,000 to bring it to metres. Now we need to add in the extra width for our door headers, which we can add using at door.number times the size of that extension. With 50 mils either side, we can add an extra 100 mils. So we'll add an extra 0 0.1. As you see, we've just been returned a value of 16.46. In the same way, we can work out our window lintels using a very similar formula. At window dot width divided by a thousand plus the number of windows times 0 0.1. And finally, for our window sill trimmer we can simply use at window dot width divided by 1000. As you can see across the board here we now have a range of quantities. If we assume that we are purchasing one standard type of timber across the board we can quickly add these up using the include in trade column which as you see in the trade heading will not only add the quantity but it will add the factored quantity and it will continue to add those figures up for us as you see across this job based on the calculations provided in this video we'll need 1866 lineal meters worth of timber for our framing we could later use either rate or quantity coding to get even more data out of this, but we'll save that for another video. Thank you for watching today's video. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us or our friendly help staff. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video on YouTube to stay up to date for more how-to videos in the future. Happy estimating.